maybe it's just coincidence or maybe it's just you know, the, the way things happen to come out, the, the, the amount of time that life takes to evolve and so on. But we're in a universe that's kind of it reached maturity. And so in that sense, it's kind of it, it is a sort of middle aged universe. So it's actually probably about halfway through its life if you think that it's ultimately going to fall back on itself. It's slightly less because if you, and so in, a, in one of the, the pictures in cosmology is you have a universe which is expanding, gravity slowly makes it slow down and eventually maybe gravity will win and the whole thing will fall back in on itself. We're still in the expanding phase and given that the time to expand and the time to contract would be exactly equal to each other, that means we're sort of less than halfway through the age of the universe. Um, so the universe, if it's 13.7 billion years old now, has at least that much time to run and probably quite a lot more as well. Um, but the current theory of the universe is that gra gravity is not actually going to win, and in fact, even weirder than that, instead of slowing down, the expansion of the universe is actually increasing, that the, the, the universe is expanding faster and faster. That means that the universe itself is going to live forever, and so what dictates the lifetime of when, you know, when interesting things in the universe will stop um, isn't dictated by the lifetime of the universe itself, because that's now infinite, but it's actually other things like the lifetimes of stars. And so the lifetime of a star like the sun, for example, is about four billion years or thereabouts. Um, other stars live rather longer. And of course, there are subsequent generations of stars. But eventually, all the gas in the universe will have been used up. It will all have been turned into stars. And those stars will have all gone through their lifetime. And so the universe will turn into a cold, dull, boring kind of place. And the time scale for that to happen is probably around sort of 100 giga years or thereabouts. So in terms of the universe and in terms of the kind of work I do, um, a giga year can do, a, things can happen, a lot of things happen in the first few giga years of the universe. So in the first few giga years of the universe, you have the first galaxies are forming, you have a lot of galaxies merging together, you have a lot of star formation. So you have the first initial formation of the, the main components of our universe. And that happens very rapidly in, in our current universe. But the, the universe and galaxies are, are roughly already in place when the universe was half its current age, so at about about six or seven giga years ago, the universe looked kind of similar as it does today. So if you want to talk about how a giga year can change things, you really want to go to the early universe where things are, are happening very rapidly. So a giga year today, not much is happening. So a giga year from now, the universe will look quite similar to, to, to how it does um, today. We live in a kind of middle age universe, and you know, when you get to middle age, you know, one year starts to look very much like the, the next, whereas you know, when you're a little kid, you know, the difference between being two years old and three years old is enormous. So it's exactly the same kind of thing that early on in the universe, things are happening very quickly just because it's the first time they've had the opportunity to happen. So something that takes you know, a, a million years, the first time it can happen is within the first million years of the lifetime of the universe. Whereas by the time the universe is 10 billion years old, well, something that happens that you know, takes a million years to happen, it will have happened hundreds or thousands of times. So it's just kind of run of the mill kind of thing. So in that sense, lots more new and exciting is happening in that first giga year, that first million, billion years of the lifetime of the universe.